Welcome to the channel, ladies and gentlemen. My name is the British Eagle, and today we are diving, flying, soaring into a brand new episode of Final Fantasy X HD Remastered Edition. And today we are in Xanderkind, as you can see from uh, the start of where we are in this episode. And also, if you've been following the series, then you'll know where we're at at this point in the game. It's pretty obvious. Uh, but by the way, if you are enjoying the series so far, hit that like button down below, subscribe to the channel. Hopefully, you're all enjoying. Now, the reason I'm not moving around, I'm not jumping into the next part of Xanarkand and moving on is because I do want to show you what I've done off screen. Grinded. So I have grinded. We have so many sphere levels. Now granted this isn't the most I've ever grinded for. This is just a pretty decent grind. It's not bad. Double digits for everybody. Um, part of the reason I did that is because we have two very interesting slash difficult boss battles coming up and I felt like we hadn't grinded since... I don't even know when we last grinded. I think it was right before Seymour, which I guess technically that's really not that long ago. But with that being said, I figured it was important. So let's go ahead and do some grinding here. So we are going to go ahead and uh, move Titus around a little bit. Uh, but like I said, yeah, we haven't really grinded in a little while. And especially with these boss battles coming up, I felt like it was appropriate for us to do this. So we are going to increase strength, agility, power, HP, MP, all that fun stuff. Um, Titus gains uh, three defense there, so very nice. Um, we're going to move him right here. Now, Titus, I could have grinded uh, for his sphere levels a little bit more because he learns an ability that is his best ability. Uh, quite frankly, you could make an argument, a strong argument, it's the best ability in the game, which is Quick Hit. Um, Quick Hit is a uh, allows you to literally do what it says in the name of the move, which is attack and have a Quick Hit. Um, so like I said, we could have grinded a little bit more, got him some more experience, because he's just right, it's right here. It's, uh, what, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine more levels, but I'm not gonna lie, I kind of got tired of grinding, so, um, I kind of wanted to progress in the story and, uh, make sure I got the episodes out for this week, so, yeah. Uh, we get Yuna some HP here. Now, Yuna is kind of also in the same boat, I feel like. From what I remember, she definitely could, uh, could have, we could have gotten her a few more levels, but, you know, we've got these two bosses, we're gonna have the airship, uh, to where we can grind some more if we really need to, so, I'm not overly worried about it, I just wanted to get enough levels or increased stats, um, like these, to where I felt comfortable going into the next two boss battles, um, which are actually some really cool battles, by the way, um, the first one we're going to face is kind of fine. It's not like super exciting to the story or anything. Um, but the one after that is pretty crazy because of who it is. Um, so yeah. So we taught Yuna Kiraga, which is the best uh, healing move out of the Cure line. Um, we also taught her Regen just now. Um, so Regen is uh, that thing where it's like the purple specks or the, the like lights that show up around uh, your teammate. Or I guess technically your enemy can use it too. And every turn, um, either your turn or their turn, you gain a little bit of HP, so pretty nice. Um, so let's go down to this spot right here. I think Oren, with the amount of spear levels we have, I think we complete his, um, his grid. Or his section of the grid, I should say. Not the entire grid, because that's uh, way too much. Yep. So down here is Sentiel, which is the last move that he gets on his section. Now, I don't know where we're going to send Orin. My thought was send him to Waka's uh, grid next because of the fact that he... Waka's got a lot of strength, and giving Orin more strength would almost guarantee us, like, just 9,999 every time. So um, I'm not really sure what we're going to do with his yet, but we'll wait. I'm going to save those. Um, Lulu, unfortunately... So Lulu can come down here... And there's a spell right down there. There's an ability, actually, and it's called Double Cast. The unfortunate part is we can't get it yet, and I'll show you why. So you need a level 3 lock and a level 4 lock to get right into Double Cast. So Double Cast means you can cast two spells. The problem is we have level 1 key spheres, level 2 key spheres, and level 4 key spheres. We have no level 3, and that's because you can't get them until Xanarkand. And uh, actually, Xanarkand, and then when we battle Sin, you can actually get them there. Um, so unfortunately, we can't do that. However, we are still going to move her down here. Um, we're going to give her the uh, boosts that she can get from these spheres right here. The MP increased by 40. That's super nice. Uh, defense increased by 40. 
We'll also move one more down here to get the other MP. Because my thought is, when we try to move down here and get double cast later, um, it'll be easier to come back and get that because we'll already have been down here. So, um, but let's keep moving. So, yeah, we really could have gotten Lulu some more levels, or I guess technically the entire team could have got more levels. Um, and there's also a move right up here that would have been super helpful for Lulu. Um, and it is called Flare. Um, I think we saw it in the Seymour battle in Bavel. Um, Flare is just an overpowered uh, magic. Actually, it might be her most powerful spell. Um, but it basically is a massive Fire Raga. <laughs> we'll just keep it at that. Um, so let's go ahead and move Waka. Waka is also very close to clearing his part of the Sphere Grid. Um, one thing I will say about the Sphere Grid, on top of everything I've just mumbled or rambled on about, is that... The best part about completing one person's sphere grid is that you're not done. Like, you you can move on to other sphere grids, and that's what we're going to end up doing. I'm just not sure where yet, but we'll figure that part out. Um, so let's go ahead and move right here. Grab the strength points by three. Like I said, Waka's got a lot of strength. Um, it's super helpful to put Orin in here. Unless we go to Riku and maybe just give him a crap ton of HP, but... Uh, speaking of Riku, I'm going to move her right here. She is at the end of her Spear Grid as well. Um, and you're probably thinking, like, well, isn't that really easy to get through a Spear Grid? You're right, but to complete the game, technically, you'd have to get everyone through the all the entire Spear Grid for e each other. Um, and that is a lot. That takes a long, long time. But we taught Riku uh, Bribe. I'm not going to use the level 3 Kier Spear here. One, because we don't have one. But two, I want to save that for Lulu's double cast. That would be really nice. Um, Alright, so Kimari. Let's go ahead and move him right here. Teach him these wonderful spells. Bizarra, Watera. So we're giving him all these spells here. Let's move right here. Um, he's actually become pretty good as a spellcaster. I noticed that when I was grinding off screen um, that he was doing close to the same damage as Lulu from a magic perspective. So, uh, yeah, I'm going to take that. <laughs> also, it's helpful because he is getting a lot of magic defense, as you can see right there. Um, he's getting a lot of regular defense. So, Lulu's sphere grid is actually pretty nice. Um, so I'll take it. Move right here. What is this? Uh, I don't really need reflex on him. I guess I could teach it to him, but... I, I mean, I guess why not? I don't know. Uh, we're completing another section of the Spear Grid, so... Um, yeah, so that's it. I mean... Um, I don't want to move Lulu, or... I don't want to move people that haven't completed their Spear Grid. What I might do... Is... Um, let's see what we've got. So we've got Teleport Sphere, which is moved to any node activated by an ally, which is really nice. Return Sphere, uh, there's five of those. Return to any previously activated nodes. Now, this is only for Riku, though. Like, she can't go to anyone else's, which kind of stinks. It would have been nice if she could have. Um, I mean, I guess I could take her back to, like, here. Um, well, wait, what's over here? What is that? Pilfer Gill. Uh, I guess I could. Copycats there, which would have been nice. You know what? Actually, not a bad idea. We could get Copycat. That actually would be pretty solid. Um, I'm going to say we do that. Yeah, I'm going to say we use a Return Sphere. We're only going to use one, but we're going to go right... Uh, where is it? Right here? Yes. We're going to come right back here because we have eight Sphere levels to move to. And I believe we have plenty of level 4, right? We got 3. That's all we needed, yeah. Um, nice. So we can get Copycat. That's pretty solid. An ability sphere. Cool, cool. Um, so I think that's it for now. I mean, the only other thing I could think of doing is, like, we could add a... Uh, we got Black, ma black Magic Sphere. Um, I don't know if I really want to use any of these. The Magic, Luck. Um, you know what? Luck actually would be nice for Riku... Because she can have better luck stealing things. So I actually think that's a good idea. Let's go with that. Um, let's use... Oh. There we go. So the Fortune Sphere activates the Luck Sphere. There we go. Increased by four. That's pretty solid. I'll take that. So now that we've exited out of that, let's go ahead and save. Make sure that we've got all of those uh, upgrades ready to go. So I'm going to save over this file from about a week ago. 
Um, so let's save that. Sweet. So the grinding was worth it. Definitely got some increases. Let's take a look at the team now. Um, Titus is in the 3000s. Um, Riku is in the 3000s for health as well. Um, Kimari's got 278 MP. Lulu has 422. Um, things are looking good. Not, not too bad. Um, now, the one thing I also want to do while we're here is... Um, yeah, I want to customize weapons. So, we've been stealing a lot of items um, from enemies, and there, I want to see if we can really get some good upgrades for our team and see what uh, what the best one would be. So, like, Curative Ring. Perfect. So, plus 10 H, uh, percent uh, HP. Auto Med, which is what Riku has right now, where basically if she gets poisoned, uh, zombied, or uh, berserked, or anything like that, she automatically, without wasting her turn, automatically will pull out an item from the bag and use it to heal themselves. So I would love to get that for the whole team if I can. Um, so she's got two more slots. I'm going to go with... Um, hmm. Let's see. Let's go with... I feel like Shell would be useful. Um, I'm not sure what I want to do here. So... If we were going to do anything, yeah, I feel like Shell would be the best one. Um, it does take... Man, it takes eight of our Lunar Curtains. That's a lot, though. Um, you know, I feel like it's worth it, though. You know what I mean? Like, I feel like... So... Hmm. Um... Well, I don't want to spend, like, a special sphere or a white magic sphere. I feel like that's too much. So let's go with, uh, let's go with this, let's go with the shell. Yep. And then I'm also going to add, um, uh, I feel like we should go with one of the, the Saz Null Blaze or Null Shock, Null Tide. But instead, I think I'm going to go with... Defense plus three percent, or magic defense plus three percent. Um, that's tough. And I could also go HP plus five percent as well, but I don't know if that's worth it. MP plus five percent would only take one ether. Uh, this would only take ooh, MP plus ten percent would only take um, was that three? Yeah, three soul springs. I'm gonna do it. Wow, that curative ring is really nice now. All of a sudden, it's fantastic so let's keep looking for some of the better yeah so like all rounder let's see if we can get this to be um upgraded as well so evade encounter that sucks that it takes a full teleport sphere but it also would be really nice um strength plus five percent um let's go with uh let's go hmm Act first at beginning of battle. That would be pretty sweet. Um, I'm gonna give him. Um, I'm gonna give him piercing, and I'm also gonna give him. Um, Frank plus three. Oh, you cannot duplicate. Oh, okay, interesting. And then. Um, I think, I think I'll give him Sensor as well. I don't know if that's a really good one for him now that I just did all those upgrades. I'm kind of like, eh, that wasn't that great. Um, now, Waka's Fast Break. Now, this is nice. HP plus 10%, Sauce Haste. Um, let me upgrade here. Ooh. So, here's what we did, guys. So, um, we got a ton of remedies. I stole as many as I could. Um, I guess I could just go back and buy more, but auto med, um, yeah, that's pretty legit. So I think I'm going to give auto med to three characters. I think it, co it costs 20. So I think I can give it to four. So 66 to 46, 46 to 26, 26 to zero. So yeah, three characters. Sorry, not four. Got to do the math there. <laughs> um, but do we need it if we're increasing his HP? I don't know if we do. Um, I feel like I want to go with, um, hmm, this is tough. Uh, Anamab would be pretty solid, I'm not going to lie. 
but so would, um, hmm. It's tough. There's so many options that you could do with this. I mean, HP plus 10 and Saw's Haste is really nice. Um, I'm going to say we go with defense plus 3%. Uh, let's see. Do we have another good one for anyone on the team? So, I'm looking for like four, um, like four options or four ability. Uh... Flexible arm. Okay, so this is kind of what I want. So, strike first, act first, first at the beginning of the battle. That would be pretty sweet. Um, evade physical attack and strike back. That's pretty nice. Um, I don't need to increase her strength because I feel like that's kind of pointless. Um, let's go with sensor. Let's go with piercing. Um, uh, man, I don't know. I don't want to, I feel bad wasting a teleport sphere, but I feel like it might be, I can probably get more back. It's just, uh, evade and counter. Um, hmm. I feel like because there's not many options right now, I'm just going to go with this. No, magic doesn't benefit me at all. Um, I'm gonna go with... Hmm. First Strike would be nice, though, to act first at the beginning of the battle. Um... Hmm. Yeah, it would be pretty solid. Uh... I also don't... Yeah, like, the Teleport Sphere is, like, I either use it for Evade Encounter, or I use it for First Strike. Oh, no, First Strike is Return Spheres. Okay. Um, I'm going to give her first strike. I'm going to say that makes sense. We've got a bunch of them, and I don't know how often I'm going to need to go backwards to get stuff. Um, let's see. Capture. So right now, let's go ahead and equip our uh, upgrades that we just did. So who did we just upgrade? Was it, it was Riku, right? Yeah, it was that. And then... All right, welcome back, guys. Sorry about that. I needed some time to upgrade the weapons on the team. So I just want to go over this really quick, show you what the weapon upgrades were like. I'm sorry it took so long there. That's why I had to cut that part. I was going to show you all the upgrades, but it took about, wow, 27 minutes I've been recording, and you've only seen about five minutes. So... Um, yeah, so we've got Avenger here for Titus. He's got Zombie Touch, Evade Encounter, and Piercing. So he'll be able to, uh, add Zombie to an opponent if they're not immune. Evade and counter some of their physical attacks and hit the defensive, um, fiends with, uh, like a normal attack. So Piercing basically breaks through the regular shields they have. Um, Sauce Shell and Auto Med. So you'll notice for a lot of my characters or my, uh, the characters in the game, we've added Auto Med. Um, specifically Titus, Yuna, Orin, um, Riku, <clears throat> and that's it. So they all have auto med. Auto med's really going to be helpful for all the remaining battles of the game. It costs us 20 remedies per uh, customization to the equipment, but it's super helpful. If I get poisoned and I'm using Titus, Titus will automatically go ahead and use an antidote and that'll heal him. Um, <clears throat> same thing goes for any of the other characters that have auto med equipped. So unfortunately, we didn't have enough for Kimari. Um, we didn't have enough for Waka and Lulu. Um, I think we had enough for one more as far as remedies go, but we just don't have any equipment like what Lulu has here, where it's three. And look at what she's getting. Plus 10% HP, plus 20% MP, and she's getting Shell. So, same with Waka. Like, I couldn't replace that just to get auto med, so I'm keeping those, but we'll see. Uh, the team, I'm telling you, the team's looking good. Um, looking at them right now, I mean, you've got... Basically, everyone's over 3,000 except for Lulu and Yuna, but magic's gone up, defense has gone up, attack has gone up, everything is looking good. So we're going to save one more time right here um, and make sure we are all good to go before we continue this journey on to the next part within Xanarkin. Hope you're all excited. I am pumped. So let's go ahead and head out. Actually, real quick, who do we want out front? Let's get uh, Riku, Titus, and Orin. Cool. I want Riku out front so that that way we can steal some items, collect a couple things, and see what happens. So let's go ahead and make our way around here. 
Um, I know there's some hidden items, so if I bump into a couple walls, it's not because I'm just messing around. It's because I actually do... Um, because I know there's some items around here. And this guy, I've stolen so many remedies from, it's not even funny. The lay attack, he basically doesn't get a turn. Armor break. Doing almost 6,000 damage. Nice. Uh, 1290. Wow. Increasing Riku's stats has really helped. To get more remedies, because I would like to try and get Automed for everybody. Um, if I can get more remedies. But, um, yeah, we'll see. Um, so, by the way, just to show you what these do, because I don't think we talked about these. So, when I upgraded on the Spear Grid, we taught Riku a couple of moves here. So, Copycat mimics an ally's previous action. So, if... Orin attacked with armor break. I believe she can do or armor break. The only problem is it costs 28 MP, which is pretty high for Riku. And she's also got bribe, so pay enemies guild to go away. So this doesn't work on Sin, I'm pretty sure. It doesn't work on some of the big boss battles, but it does work on some of the smaller ones. Um, and then obviously spare change. I don't know if we talked about this, but you can attack by throwing guild. I typically won't do that because I don't want to waste my money. So um, yeah, I, I won't be doing that. Um... Alright, so I'm going to try and avoid using Mug now. I don't want to spend all of her MP as we get three more. Uh, three more, um, what's it called? Uh, remedies. So, yeah, uh, battling this guy gets you quite a few remedies. Uh, it just takes a little bit of time, but I was grinding the whole time, so it worked out. And he's defeated. I'm loving the upgrades. I love the equipment we've given them. Um... We got some spear levels that we can't really use right now because of kind of where we're at. Now, how do we... Uh, is it not over there? I think it's this... Oh, it's over here. Yeah, we can get it. Okay, so we don't have to go behind a wall or anything like that yet. Okay, sweet. Uh, Riku, we're going to steal from this thing. Musks are helpful. Um, that's another nice thing to cust use to customize your weapons. Um... So, I'm going to go ahead and... Actually, going to switch out. We're going to go into Waka so we can take out the Flyer real quick. Um, and that should be... Yep, that's one hit KO. And we're actually going to see if we can delay attack here. We can. And he's got Zombie already. Nice. Warren misses. That's fine. Flame Ball should not do too much. 480, 490, and 502. Yep, that's fine. We're actually going to switch into Yuna to avoid wasting all of our Phoenix Downs. We're going to go ahead and do what I was doing during my training, which was use life and take out the zombified fiends, which is a super cool thing. Um, having zombie touch on these weapons is really nice. Everyone gets a little bit more experience. we got some ability spheres. Also, you'll notice in the bottom, uh, in the center, we have 206,489 gil. Thank you, Grinding. We got all of our money back from what we spent on Yojimbo, which is awesome. Um, so if we want to cheat and use Yojimbo's special attack that wipes out literally any enemy in the game with one move, we have the option to do that. So um, I don't remember the exact amount it takes to um, to take out the uh, to take out or to, for him to use that special move, but we'll figure it out. We'll test it. Uh, let's go into Riku. Go with Mug. We did not zombify him. That's unfortunate. Uh, let's go ahead and attack. Skill. Oh, we still didn't mump. Uh, he's got 4,000. That's fine. We're not going to be able to defeat him here. He'll go ahead and shoot us with fireballs. That's fine. I'm interested to see how the Cloister Trials goes for us. Because, don't forget, Sanarkand, we are trying to get towards the final Aeon. Um... So, it'll be interesting to see what you guys think of the uh, the final Cloister of Trials. It's pretty interesting. I haven't done it in quite some time, but let's see how it goes. Alright, and now we have Yuna, uh, who's got Kuraga. Now, I'm not going to use that. That's way too much health. But it is nice to have that. Um... Wait, did we grab the item? Hold on, wait a minute. Did we grab it or just we... did we just pass it? Oh no, we did grab it. What am I doing? I completely forgot that we just grabbed the item. Uh, I was hoping to zombify it. Dang it. Demi's going to do a lot. Yeah, because it's a fourth of your health. Um, let's go with Mug again. Still no zombified. Uh, let's go into Titus. 
There we go. All right, time to use... Actually, no, we will switch back into Yuna. Because we do want Yuna to get the experience as well. If we can use life on the enemy, um, kill them. That way, Riku, Titus, and Yuna get some experience, though. But instead of life, we could just use Phoenix down with any character, and that would work, too. Very nice. Glorious ring. Now, the problem I've had this entire time is that this is the new ring or the new item we picked up in battle. These are all of ours, so we've got to figure out which one we want to get rid of. I'm going to say this one, and then we'll get rid of M-Mog. All right, so let's keep making our way through here. Um, all right. Sweet, sweet. I believe further in Xanarkin, like where we're at now, um, it should we should be able to find a level 3 key sphere for that double cast. So that'll be really nice. Um, let's just go ahead and use Prey real quick. Ooh, that's really tough damage to take. Zombie attack. Come on, hit. Didn't work? Oh, come on. Alright, we're gonna use Kiraga, see how much this heals up. It should heal up the whole thing, but I just wanna see what the total... 3,000. Wow. Pretty solid. Uh, let's go with attack. Zombify. What? Wow. Now, by the way, you noticed when Yuna tried to heal herself, the shell showed up. Um, yeah, she's going to be protected. Her equipment allows her to now have shell uh, without her even having to do anything, which is very solid. And then because Yuna's not her, or it's not Yuna's turn, we're going to use a Phoenix down by Titus and take out the fiend. Goodbye, little fella. Catch you later. Reflect shield, so we're going to have to switch that out. I'm actually going to bring that in, and we'll get rid of... I usually get rid of things that only have one um, thing for them. Well, not counterattack. That's pretty hard to find. Um, like, let's get rid of this. Like, I don't think that's important. Uh, let's go ahead and use Yuna again. I want to make sure we're all healed. There's some tough fiends out here, so you want to make sure you're ready to go and ready to fight. like the far plane close enough that's wild yep it's pretty crazy ask me there is a treasure chest over here I hopefully it's got something good I know there's something around here that's like 10 gill or 10,000 gill um, and a couple other things so uh, let's do delay attack uh, let's bring in Waka, take out the flyer. Orin. Wow, that's a ton of damage. I love it. <laughs> Gotta love how crazy powerful Orin is. Um, let's go into Riku. Try and steal some high potions. Or just one, that's fine. There you go, zombified. Let's bring Yuna in. Perfect. Uh, let's go white magic. Let's go life. Just a quick automatic KO. I like it. Nice. There we go. Some more sphere levels. I'll take that. Grab this item right here. Is this the 10,000 gil? I think it is. No, it's spiritual targe. A uh, tarje. So MP Stroll, I don't remember what that does, but I don't see that often, so I'm going to get rid of a weapon that's not that good. Yeah, like, we'll get rid of that harpoon that has piercing. Yeah, it's pretty easy to find. <laughs> I'm not worried about that for Kimari. Um, let's use Prey so Yuna can get some experience. Just for being in battle and kind of attacking once. And automatic. Nice. Love it. Ugh, oh, it's too easy. Yep, Titus has zombie touch on his weapon, so that's why sometimes when I attack with Orin or someone who doesn't, you won't see the enemy get the zombie touch. It's because you have to have that as an uh, as like one of the key abilities with your weapon. Um, I couldn't give it to everyone. I don't think I even have the option for zombie touch to upgrade. It's just I happen to find a bunch of weapons. I think for Riku, Titus, and two, one other person. Um, go back in a waka here. 
They got the flyer. Flyer is super annoying. Uh, let's go into Titus. Go into delay attack. He's already got the zombies. Sweet. Uh, let's go into Yuna. We'll have her go ahead and do the same trick as always. Yeah, this is basically you're watching what I did now for grinding. Um, when I was grinding bef uh, off screen, this is all I did was just put everyone into a zombie status and then just wipe out the enemy. So pretty solid. I'll take it. Crazy. This is Xanarkin. It's nuts. Oh, a point. Definitely want the heal. I don't know if I need to save right now, but definitely going to heal. Oh, you know what? Ah, let's be careful with that. Hold on. With where we're at in the game, let's make sure we are saving. That's probably a smart idea. Uh, let's save over top of this file. Alright, so let's go here. Journeyer of the long road, name yourself. I am the summoner Yuna. I have come from the island of Besaid. Your eyes, my dear, show me the long road you have traveled. Very good. You have journeyed well. Lady Unaleska will surely welcome your arrival. Go to her now and bring your guardians with you. Go. Yes. Look at his outfit, his hands, everything. That man's about as dead as Mike, uh, as Mike, 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 Maester Mike. That boy did. Look at this. You guys recognize this? If it might benefit the future of Spira, I will gladly give my life. It is the highest honor for which a guardian might ask. Use my life, Lady Yoken, and rid Spira of sin. What? What was that? Our predecessors. She said Lady Yoken, didn't she? Wait, she guarded High Summoner Yoken? This dome is filled with fireflies. It's like one gigantic sphere. People's thoughts remain here forever. Crazy. Crazy, crazy, crazy. Now, from what I remember, there's a couple different paths you can take to get some of the hidden items. Um, also, what I need to do here is immediately switch into Riku and steal from these things. I believe these are the things that can give you holy water. Maybe it's not. Um, this is going to be fun. So I can literally use life to wipe them out in one shot, which is pretty cool. Um, we can do the same thing with the phoenix down on this thing with the fire guys, which I'd rather take them out pretty quickly because fire guys are kind of annoying. Rust kick. Is that going to... Oh, yeah, that knocks her out of play. That's right. Forgot about that. Um, all right, so let's kill you quick, then. Uh, let's go with armor break. I've only got 5,000 health. 5,500. Yeah, it's going to kill you in one shot. I, I didn't even need to armor break. I thought they had much more health than that. Wow, that was pretty weak. So the only thing that happens there is that she just doesn't get any experience in the battle because she was kicked out. Really nice guild, though. Two eye potions, white shield. I'm going to skip that. I don't need it. It's got one other slot, and it's got Ice Ward. I'm good. So I need to get up top there to get that uh, thing. Oh, it's the things back there that I need to take. Okay, gotcha. So let's go into Riku, or uh, Titus. Let's do... the Delay Attack. Uh, let's... Uh, mm. Attack this thing. Take it out. Now, these things are going to do some damage, because they did some damage in Bavel, and they're a lot stronger. So, Riku, we're going to bring you out. Um, we've got some good health, though. I feel like we'll be fine. Three Holy Waters. That's what we need to steal from. Oh, okay, it missed. Nice. There we go. And he's got the Evade Encounter. That's right. I forgot that we equipped that. Dude, that is solid. Um, that is very nice. So here what I'm going to do is I'm going to use black magic. Um, we're going to drain HP from an enemy. Get a little bit of HP back for Waka. Not too much, but I do want to steal from this guy. The holy waters are going to be really helpful later on. Um, 
We'll attack here. That's fine. Um, yeah, holy waters are going to be pretty helpful. We want to try to steal a good amount of them, so... I'm going to work on that as we continue through here. Wow, I should have been grinding in this back area. Four Phoenix Downs, two High Potions. Ooh, Glorious Shield. That's actually really nice because it's got three empty slots. That's pretty solid. I'm going to get rid of... Yeah, that's really nice. That might be something to upgrade into. All right, so now we climb up here. Let's go this way. Let's grab that item. If we can get that level three key sphere. We are getting Lulu double cast immediately. Can I... Oh, they're out of range. Dang it. All right, so let's go into Orin. One shot. Nice. Good job, Orin. Um, all right, so I want to switch into Riku. Steal some holy waters. Oh, two ethers. I'll actually take that too. I will go into Titus here. I'm gonna do use Hastiga. Hastaga. Um And then we'll try and steal a bunch from this. Three holy waters. Three oh, no more. Back Titus. Yes, I love the evade encounter. It is so good. Although, crap, that means no more holy water, so I wasted a Hastiga, but Hastaga. 12,800. Oh my gosh, the spear level. And we got a Mega Phoenix. Wow, that's pretty nice. This is a great place to grind. Oh my gosh. I wasted my time grinding before. I should have waited till we got to this point. 10,000 gil. Solid, solid. Take that. Um, all right, so here we want to go and bring Yuna in. We can avoid wasting, or not wasting, but spending too many Phoenix Downs. Go ahead and kill one. Uh, then we'll go into... You know what, I'll actually just attack this guy. Um... Gura? Right? Yeah, that should be good, yeah. There we go. Took him out. Cool, cool. We'll step forward. Hopefully this thing attacks Titus again. Uh, nope, he's gonna do that, so we'll switch into Riku. Get some more of these holy waters! Or two ethers. Great. Um, I think this is gonna kill him, though. Yeah. I'm I'm gonna go with... Uh, I guess it doesn't matter. Yeah, he's gonna... If he attacks me, or if I attack him, he's gonna die, so... That's fine. Decent experience, we'll take that. Two more Phoenix Downs, wow. Maybe I don't need to stress so much about wasting them or using them, um, if it's, if they're gonna give me that many. What does this guy give? Holy Waters, okay, so he does give more, nice. Um, now Kiraga can only hit one, unless I get her double cast. If I could get Yuna double cast as well, that'd be so good. Um, what was I doing? Oh yeah, life. Um, Uh, let's try and steal from this guy again. More holy waters? Nope. Never mind. Back. 3,060. Missed. And now he's gonna die. Dude, this physical attacking thing, evade encounter is so nice. Oh man, it's so good. Now, I don't know how much it'll benefit me later on because of the fact that, um, you know, like Sin and some of the other, uh, things that we fight are going to use, um, uh, what's it called? Oh, shit, he didn't die from Kira? Wow. Um, later on, they're going to use spells and, and, like, more magical attacks. So, I don't know if it'll help too much, but right now it's doing wonders for us. So, um, nothing there. Isn't there, like, a... Okay, it's maybe it's not yet. Maybe I'm just not at that point yet where the, uh, the area to the level 3 key sphere is at. But we'll get there. That's fine. Um, nah, that's kind of silly to do that. Let's just go with... Let's steal more of these candles of light. Nope. Oh, crap. I didn't mean to do that. No, come on. Right there. Steal more candles of light, because that'll be good for um, upgrades and everything. Uh, let's go with life. We got one of these zombified Bavel fighters. And then I'll use a phoenix down on this thing. 
Nice, good job. I just don't want to have to deal with some of the fire guys or even just the single soldiers with like the uh, the musket or whatever it is. So uh, let's go with delay attack. Push that back a little bit. Heal holy waters. Nice, getting some good ones here. Uh, let's heal up our team a little bit. Give Riku a shot to steal more. Oh, never mind. This yeah, sweet. I love it. Bye -bye. This is great. Bye-bye. And with Riku's attack increased, she's doing a good amount of damage for someone who's not really physically uh, powerful, but I'll take it. Prism Cactor. Ooh. Yes, let's replace... Go down the list, see what we... I mean, honestly, it's hard to replace stuff now because we're... We've got so many good things, um, but same. All right, so let's save here so we can get some health back. Um, head this way. No, mother, no! I don't want you to become a babe. There is no other way. Use me and defeat sin. Only then will the people accept you. I don't care. Who do you think that is? I don't have much time left. Hey, wasn't that Seymour? Yep, it was. Seymour had a really <laughs> brutal life, honestly. Like, it wasn't exactly. I'm. Mean, I'm not defending the things he's done. I mean, he killed his own dad, but like, it wasn't. <laughs> it wasn't as easy as people realize. Um. All right, so. Looks like I get two turns here, so I'm just going to use two Albed Potions and take out the... Oh, no, wait. It's not going to take them out. Oh, crap. Uh... I don't know. I'm just kind of messing around at this point. I don't... I mean, these uh, these items, honestly, aren't... What? Oh, my gosh. They, I just wasted a Mega Potion and an Albed Potion, and the thing still survived. Wow. All right. Uh, all right, all right. Cure. This thing's gotta die at this point. There we go. Oh, man, that was a waste of items. Thought they had less than that, but okay. Mug some more holy waters. Three of them. I'll take that. Gonna miss, and we're gonna attack again. Solid. So far, so good. So far, so good. We're getting some good experience. Another Mega Phoenix? Oh my gosh. Mega Phoenixes are kind of crazy, but... Friend Spear, very nice. So you can teleport to another friend's, uh... Spear grid, I think. Like, just over to their section. Ooh. This will be interesting. What does he give us? Lunar Curtains, perfect. Try to steal some more. Do more, thank you. Gonna delay attack. Can he be... Oh, no, I was just gonna say, can he be zombie Or become a zombie, but... Never mind. Uh, armor break. He's got 39,000 health. Wow. Uh, let's keep trying to steal if we can. Nothing else. How much will he do? Oh, he's going to miss because Titus cannot be hit. Yep. Solid, solid. Um, let's go into uh, Lulu. I think this thing was weak to water from what I remember. Okay, maybe not weak, but at least does something. Bringing Kamari. Try Fire Raga. See how much this does. Uh, okay. This uh, clearly there is a little bit of a difference between Lulu and uh, Kimari's magic, but that's all right. Ooh, twenty-one fifty-one. Jeez. Uh, let's bring Walk out here. Can he uh, put this thing to sleep or anything? Sleep Buster. Is it immune? Probably is. Yep. Figured. Um, let's go into Titus here. We delay attack him. Yes, we can. Close to being done. Haymaker. Oh my goodness. Waka barely survived. <laughs> oh my gosh, that's ridiculous. But he finished him off. There you go. Good job, Waka. That was kind of crazy. That was a lot of uh, a lot of health he did there. Level two key spear. Tact ring, that's actually pretty solid too. Man, we're getting some really good items. Yo. Yeah, just in case I didn't explain it before, we're basically getting rid of any item 
uh, that's not beneficial or only has one slot to customize or doesn't have any slots to customize and replacing it with whatever the good item is if we find a good item from a battle. So that's why you're seeing me replace things. Um, ooh, he put zombie on us. Auto med kicked in. So holy water cures the zombie effect. Um, now will Titus attack? No, he won't. Okay. So yeah, holy water, that's why it's important. I guess I didn't really talk about that before, but yeah, holy water is important because of the fact that you will, it'll heal you from the zombie stuff. And auto med is very nice as well. So yeah, it's a good, uh, good way to heal ourselves up. Uh, let's attack this thing. He should die, right? Oh, wow, he survived. Shocking. Uh, let's attack this guy, finish him off. Overkill. Let's bring Riku in and see if we can, uh... Ow, I did a lot of damage. Let's bring Riku in and see if we can steal some more Holy Waters, because we're gonna need them. I think we've got, like, 25, 30 right now. Let's, let's get some more. Uh, let's bring Lulu in. The only reason I want to bring Lulu in is actually not because of, um, I want her to use her spells. I actually just want her to be here to get experience, because I want her to get flare and double cast. That would be fantastic. Three more holy waters. Um, let's go with... Actually use guard. Nothing else. Okay. I think then maybe it is time to just go ahead and take this thing out if we can. Yeah, once it gets to the point where you're getting nothing else, usually there's barely anything else you can steal from them, but we got a good amount of holy waters now. Phoenix down again. So, yeah, magic counter's pretty nice. I think we've already got one, but it also could sell for good money. So that's the other thing to keep in mind, too. If you've got, like, a basic, like, um... Yeah, like Rune, Mog has just magic plus five. I'd rather take magic counter. Yellow Bracer with two is okay, but that's not worth switching stuff out. Um, so let's go... Let's heal up a little bit here. Um, so we need to go downstairs to get that item. Oh, look who's here. Uh, hey, Broska. You don't have to do this. It's Jack. Thank you for your Roska. An Orin. Fine. I said my piece. Well, I haven't. Lord Braska. Let us go back. That's gonna be hard for. I, I just need to watch. You knew this was to happen, my friend. Yes, but I. I cannot accept it. Wow. <laughs> Orin, I am honored that you care for me so, but I have come to kill grief itself. I will defeat sin and lift the veil of sorrow covering Spira. Please understand, Orin. Crazy. Now, I just thought of something that may be an interesting question to ask all of you. So for those of you who um, have not played this game or are not aware, so at this point everyone knows that Orin's dead, right? Um, Mainly because of the fact that he has Pyreflies flying around him when he was near the, uh, the Chamber of the- or not the Chamber of the Faith, the Far Plane. Um, I wonder if Bio will work on this. I don't think it does. But, um, Orin's dead. Uh, Jack dies, and so does Braska. Now here's the question. How did all three of them die? This is a question, kind of like a question of the day, which is a weird question of the day. How did all three of them die if the Summoner dies by sacrificing one of its Guardians to defeat Sin. Well, one and one is two, so why did the third person die? Who was sacrificed? I mean, I guess technically we'll find out either in this episode or uh, in the next episode, but just a question. I'm curious to see if anyone knows. Um, although, I shouldn't have said that because now people are going to put it in the comment section and spoil it for people, so don't say anything. Never mind. Just think about it to yourself. <laughs> Delay attack. Very nice. Um, yeah, that's gonna... Orin's... Orin is hurting right now, so let's go ahead and give him an X potion. Let's heal him up. I could have brought in Yuna and saved that item, but that's all right. Haymaker again. Wow, that's ridiculous. Titus has learned Comrade. All right, let's just try and destroy this thing. We've got three of our biggest hitters out here, so... Wow. Take 
done. There we go. Okay, cool. Good job, team. Good job. With armor break, we were able to take that thing out in, what, eight hits? Nine hits? Pretty solid. Um, Alright, so let's heal up again. Now, where's the path to go downstairs? Yeah, so I don't want to go there yet. Hold on. There's a path. Oh, it's right here, I think. Right? Alright, let's use Phoenix Downs and take these things out. Boom. Boom. Oh, I should have taken out the fire guy. I took out the two henchmen. That was dumb. Now he's going to hit all three of us. That was dumb. I should not have done that. That's all right. It is what it is. We'll just heal up after this. So. Yeah, I got to say, I love the zombie Phoenix down combo or life combo. It's pretty solid. Um, all right. So good experience there. Three ability spears. We'll heal up again just to make sure everyone is... Ready. I don't think the boss battles yet, because I'm pretty sure we gotta go to the Cloister at Trials first, but... Is this the level 3? Yes, it is! Okay, cool. So let's go to the Sphere Grid. I don't think... Yeah, I think we're too far away, but I'm gonna move Lulu back... How far back can I move her? Just to here? Okay. We need to get Lulu leveled up, because now that we have a level 3 Key Sphere, we need to get back to here... And then we can use these two to get double cast. That is a really nice thing. So, okay, cool. We'll wait for that. I'm glad we went back to get that item. Pretty pretty awesome. Uh, let's go ahead and use a Phoenix down. Waka's turn, I think, next. Yes. Phoenix down. We'll run up, he'll probably shoot us, and then we'll bring Riku in to steal more holy waters, or never mind. Alright, she's gonna just come right out and uh, steal some holy waters, three more. I wanna check after this how many she has. Um, I feel like we're at a good point where we don't need to worry as much. Look at that. Uh, let's do drain. Solid, steal more. Didn't steal anything else. I would just finish him off. That's fine. I'm not going to sit here for 10 minutes and try to steal more holy waters. Um, okay, sweet. Two Phoenix Downs. All right. So I apologize, guys, if this episode goes on way too long. I'm kind of stuck right now because I don't know how long I've technically been recording. The editing or customizing of my equipment took a while, but I don't know if it was like 20 minutes, 5 minutes. It may have just felt like it was a while, so this may be a super long episode too. I apologize. I don't know if you're really worried about it being super long, but that's all good. All right, so we'll walk through here. And we get to the next section right here, which I think is the cloister truck. No, we're getting close though. Close to the Cloister of Trials. Oh, yeah. Lux Sphere. Awesome. Uh, wait. Did I miss a treasure chest over here? No. I don't think there's anything there. I don't think there's anything there. Yep, we're good. Just want to make sure I don't miss anything, because I am not as certain with this area about items like I usually am in this game, so I'm just checking. Are the Trials ahead? Probably. He saved. Here too. He saved the game. Break. <laughs> That's awesome. I was expecting, you know, parades and fireworks. You can ask for them after I defeat Sin. No parades and fireworks out here, bud. Go ahead and save. We are actually going to save the game here. I'm not going to stop the episode right now. Um. Well, I probably should, now I think about it, because of the fact of up next we have the Cloister of Trials. Um, yeah, so because this is the Cloister of Trials, I'm going to stop it right here, guys. I apologize. I was going to keep it going, but with how long this episode's been between getting through Xanarkin, the cutscenes, collecting items, battling fiends, it's taken a little while. Um, I'm assuming with the editing of the equipment, it's going to cut this down from a, an hour and four minutes to like 
48 minutes, which is still pretty lengthy. So um, I'm going to stop it right here, though. Thank you so much for catching another episode of Final Fantasy X HD Remastered Edition. And uh, in the next episode, we're going to do the Cloister Trials. We're going to battle a boss fight and actually a second boss fight right after that. So um, I will catch you all later. Continue to spread those positive vibes as always. I'm out. Peace.